Hello again for our Vicarage in Facet. We're entering yet another week of lockdown, but this week we seem to at least have some light appearing at the end of the tunnel. The death rates of this awful virus are coming down and the government are hinting that better times are coming. Although coming out of lockdown might be slow, but at least now it's a real possibility soon. And this week there have been some really good things to celebrate. I think most of the country celebrated with the now Colonel Tom Moore as he reached his 100th birthday, having raised over £32 million to the NHS. Really incredible. He was so humble as he watched his RAF fly past and received an amazing cake and celebrated his number one in the UK singles charts. But his first thought was to thank everyone else and to tell everyone that they were magnificent. Also, we've seen our Prime Minister return to government after his near-death experience with the virus and he can now celebrate the birth of his new baby. And another very touching moment this week as a five-year-old Princess Charlotte hand-delivered freshly made food to households and pensioners in Norfolk. All around us, people are helping others in so many selfless ways. But I've spoken to lots of people this week and a lot of us seem to still feel a bit wobbly about the whole situation. Homeschooling is hard. Not seeing friends and family is hard. Worrying about jobs is hard. Worrying about paying bills is hard. Being isolated and alone is hard. Wondering about how the future might look is hard. And the uncertainty is hard. I think we might all have to copy the NHS and like them find ourselves wobble rooms. Wobble rooms are a safe place where we can express our emotions. I like the thought of that. This week, had we been in church, our Bible reading would have been about Jesus the shepherd. It tells us that Jesus is like a good shepherd, but is also the gate for the sheep. It speaks of how Jesus the shepherd leads the way to good pastures and he leads the way to abundant life. Now I guess not many of us feel at the moment that we have abundant life. In fact, we may feel something quite the opposite during this lockdown. And yet the way to good pastures that Jesus speaks of can be wobbly or uneven with trip hazards and obstacles. Years ago, we used to holiday in Wales a lot and one of our favourite places was called Shaky Bridge. Probably because it had a very wobbly shaky bridge on the way. We used to take our dogs and after parking, went over the wobbly bridge, over some very bumpy ground, often very boggy and uneven, picking our way through the cow pats and other obstacles. But at the end was an amazing meadow, beautiful lush grass and flowers, with fluffy sheep and a river running alongside. We loved it, the dogs loved it, and they usually had a lovely swim. And it was well worth the bumpy, difficult walk there and back, Life isn't always easy, life is not free from suffering and life is not without bumps and ups and downs. But whatever we may feel, we know that Jesus the Good Shepherd is there to lead us safely through to the good pasture and we can trust him to care for us along the bumps and sometimes wobbly paths of life and he carries us gently. Jesus died so that we could all have life in abundance in this world and the next. So we need to just keep an eye on trusting him and understand that at the end of the wobbly path is somewhere really beautiful. And as the lovely Colonel Tom himself said, please always remember that tomorrow will be a good day. So God bless from Facet. Stay safe.